Okay, number one, uh, what we can do, what we can do is the, the first case. Some, some questions, they ask you to find the position vector. So what we can do is, okay, for example, this is, um, say, 1, 2, 3, plus lambda, 4, 7, 8. This is your line. Okay? And this is the point 2, 6, 11. Alright? So we want to find this point. Okay, we want to find this point. Okay? We want to find... Okay, so uh, the first thing we want to do is we also want to find this distance. Uh. We want to find this distance. The perpendicular distance. Okay? How do we go about this? So method 1, what we do is... Let's say I call this point A. I call this point N. Right? We try to find A N. This is the idea. The idea is want to find A N first. Right? So this, this is the general idea. So to, in, in the question, they introduce us two methods. Number one is we so-called find A N. So example... Uh, okay, so O N, right? So example O N is because it lies on the line, right? Can we say that it takes the form of one, two, three plus four lambda, two plus seven lambda, uh, three plus eight lambda? We can say this, right? Yeah. I have not started on the question yet. I'm just telling you some concepts. So what is A N? A N is just equals to uh, O N minus O A, right? Correct. So O N minus O A would be uh, 1 plus 4 lambda, 2 plus 7 lambda, 3, 3 plus 8 lambda, uh, minus OA, which is 2, 6, 11. So you end up with uh, 4 lambda minus 1, 7 lambda minus 4, 8 lambda minus 8. This is your AN. Okay? After that, so this is uh, AN. So you must follow me on this part for some lambda, right? O N because it lies on the line, it lies on the line. It can be expressed in the form of the line equation, right? In the form of the line, right? Can this part? Then we find A N. Okay, but our A N is in this form. All right. So what was the question? The question is to find this the perpendicular distance. How do we find the perpendicular distance? That's, that's the suppose the question is like this. Huh? Okay, find the perpendicular distance from A to line L. Okay, this is the question. So now, we have A N. What, how do we uh, so-called come up with the value for A N? The next thing we want to do is we want to find, find lambda, right? Okay? So step number two. This is step number two. Step number three. Simple. We know that A N is this direction vector. Right? Is this direction vector. This is my A N. A N. Okay? Who is it perpendicular to? The line right so if i take a n dot product with the direction vector of the line which is four seven eight right that will give me zero okay so that means four lambda minus one dot product uh, times four plus seven lambda minus four multiplied by seven plus eight lambda minus eight multiplied by eight uh, that will give me zero so example i solve solve, solve i get lambda equals to example no, no, may not be true, ah. may not be true, ah. so don't copy word for Example, lambda equals to 3. What does that tell you? Lambda equals to 3, what does that give you? That gives you the... That gives you the... Uh, this is your lambda, lambda that we are solving for. It gives you an. Then after that, okay, so 4 lambda minus 1. 4 lambda, an equals to 4 lambda minus 1. 7 lambda minus 4. 8 lambda minus 8. Example, ah. all I do is I suck lambda equals to 3. So an is equals to 11, 7 times 3, 21, 21 minus 4, 17, 8 lambda 24, 24 minus 8, 16. I sum this by an. After that, I need to, remember what was the question? To find the perpendicular distance, right? Follow me so far? Ah, then this is, uh, so an is just equals to, tada! Okay, square root, 11 square plus 17 square plus 16 square. Answer comes out. Okay, this is the first method. Okay, so when do we use this method? When, when do we use this method? Okay, I'll tell you why or when later on. This is method one. Okay, method one. When the question asks you to find from perpendicular distance from a point to a line, this is one of the method. Second method is like this. Okay, second method is like this. Okay, uh, example. Uh, again, give you another point. Uh, find the distance to the line. Maybe uh, this line will be 4 
negative two, negative one, two, plus lambda one, two, three. What can I say? Can I say that four negative one, two lies on the line, right? So I can say this, right? Maybe four negative one, two lies on the line. This call maybe I call it two, seven, nine again. Okay, yeah. So what can I do? I want to find again this distance. So children, I want to find perpendicular distance. This is the answer to our question. How do we find this? I call this n, for example. After that, simple. Okay? I find this direction vector. Let's say I call this uh, b, for example. Okay? Okay? Well, I take a direction vector that lies on all this line. What vector is it? I can use 1, 2, 3. Okay? So 1, 2, 3. Uh, 1, 2, 3. So b, what is b? b will just be uh, uh, 2 minus 4. So uh, negative 2, 7 minus negative 1, 8, 9 minus 2, so 7. Alright, how do I find this portion now? I just do the... Let's say if this is my A, this is my B, right? How to find this distance is just A times B hat. Okay, ma? Okay, ma? This is... Yes. Yes, you can also use Pythagoras. That's fine. I mean, uh, that's a lot of way. Lah. This is method 2. There's a lot of methods. This, this is method 2. Okay? So when do we use method 1? When do we use method 2? Very simple. Okay, method 2, right? Does it require to find this? No need. So sometimes the question doesn't require to find. So you can use this method. You can use, you can use method 2 when you don't have don't have to find the end i.e. the foot of the perpendicular lah. okay I write in short form ah. oh sorry sorry o r o n okay ah okay, I can say o n ah. Same thing, ah. o n oh. okay so example example like your question if you observe right is like your BMQ question 11 Example this one. Okay? Do they ask require you to find the full of a molecular? No need. Like mm. so what do I mean by when do you use method one? Q to the line four zero negative two plus lambda three four zero. Okay, so it looks like this. This is the point Q. I just put it as a line on top. Three negative two. Okay, negative one. Your vector your line looks like this. R equals to this R right okay this R you all must put tilde okay I don't know why so you it's okay so the proper notation is like yeah, okay children you write your you write also must write properly okay your R tilde equals to four tilde or the twiggly or this one tilde this one like tilde ready tilde 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 I said the tilde oh okay Okay, so you make sure you write. You don't write, it can cancel, can minus mark on. Okay, I think some of you all forget to write, right? Okay, I'm just telling you, okay. Like, R, you must write this. Okay, you don't write it, become a variable, okay? Vector, you must put a, you must put a squiggly below, okay? Uh, then, after that, plus, 3, 4, 0. Sorry, lambda, 3, 4, 0. Lambda is real. Okay? So it means what? Uh, do I need to find N, O, N? Ricardo Fu? But you don't need so what method do I use? The second method, right? I just project. Ah, so what I can do is I can say 4, 0, negative 2 lies here. I can find so called maybe I, let's say I call this point A. Ah. Okay, what is AQ? AQ is equals to ah, AQ is just equals to negative 1, negative 2, 1. Okay, just equals to negative 1, negative 2, 1. This is my AQ. Ah. Okay? What about my line? What's the direction vector? Can I ask uh, Miguelaba? 340, very good, smart girl. Okay. 340. Okay. So this direction vector is 340. Next step, I want to find the perpendicular distance from the point to the line. So this one means I'm actually asking required to find this portion. I, I'm asking to find this one. This is my answer. Okay, how to find? How to find Ignatius? How to find? Don't tell me the calculator. Ah. Yeah. 
what a cross b a cross a cross b hat okay so simple uh, method what i can do is i just take a q cross with uh, of the this portion like uh, 340 so what's the magnitude 340 so 1 over 5 uh, 1 over 5 of uh, 340 okay because uh, 3 square plus 4 square and then, uh, other square, uh, huh? so the distance is d is equal to this soft 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 uh, you should get square root perfect right? yes come again come again Uh, actually, it doesn't matter because because in this case we are finding magnitude. Ah, uh, because you see we have this one, Monisa, for this thing. That's why it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, you take negative, you go in the other direction, but it doesn't matter. Yes. Can but longer, but longer. It means you are doing longer. Okay, oh. So let me show you. The, the that's what we do. Okay, second part. This portion, what they do, they use a q dot n. Uh, so this one, right? Again, this is a. This is q. The vector here. They what they do is they find the vector first. A n. This is uh. You agree? If this is a, this is b. B. This is uh. This portion, the vector is a dot b hat. Bracket b hat. Correct. See remember. Right, so this is the same, but just that we didn't use B, we use M. So what they do is we there's a lot of method to do M, right? So A Q dot M dot M. Okay? That's why they have this. Similarly, after that they find QN using uh OA like OA minus OB, just the subtraction of two vectors. Then after from here, then they find the QN magnitude. Okay, so there is a lot of way to do it. Okay? Okay, next question twelve. Ah, this one interesting now. See, ah. find the position vector. So now this question, find the position vector of the foot of the perpendicular from the point P to the line L. Okay, so long. Okay, but what we can do is ah, always remember if all else fails, draw a diagram. Ah, draw a diagram sure can help you one. Okay, okay. So first one, find the position vector. Ah. Okay, number one. Okay, I just draw happily draw. P is a 3, negative 3, 6 to the line L. Hey, stay with me, uh, stay with me. Okay. I try, I try. Uh. I not very interesting, but I try. Uh. Okay, uh. okay, so plus lambda 3, 2, negative 2. Lambda is real. Okay. First one they want to do, they want to find the full perpendicular. They want to find, let's say I call this N. Okay. Then out they ask me to find this. Okay, how to find n? How to find n children? What's my first step? What can I do? Uh oh find the position vector of the foot of the perpendicular. Below the. I don't understand this English. It's so weird. The it's foot like of the. The line is like that, ma. The line. Let's say this is a line. Let's say this is a line. It's not a line. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then you find the point P. This P foot perpendicular. Go all the way down perpendicular. Ninety degree. Wow. Wow. Transcend. Perpendicular. Yeah. So then the line. So this is a point. So the point just drop downwards and then foot. So this one get used to the, the terminology. Okay. Uh, math is like that. You, you read in English but you think in math. Everything I tell you in English you, you, you write out math equations. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, then Okay, so so from here, right? Okay, okay, uh, Ethan, okay. Uh, yeah. Ethan get used to this. Sure come out one, I bet my life, okay? That my surname confirm will come out okay so i mean definitely you'll see this a few times in your life uh, common test don't have prelim have prelim don't have a level so okay okay so foot of the perpendicular foot of the perpendicular okay foot is f-o-o-t foot means you go downwards perpendicular means you go downwards 90 degree 
okay from the point to the line so that's how it looks like okay so try to, to uh, digest this like this everything it looks foreign for the first time but you see a few times you get very bored uh, right, uh, okay, so you can use the technology okay so and after that how do I find first one any idea anyone can guide me can I expo ex uh, express on as a uh, something Pravin, you're saying something? Oh, okay. Very good. PN equals to ON minus OP. Ah, okay. So, do I have OP? Do I have ON? How to find ON, eh, Pravin? Do I don't say, ah, Kiho, I'm about to kill you. Ah, okay. You forgot. Okay, now Kiho substitute. Su supplement, supplement, not substitute. Okay, let me ask uh, Rongxuan. Can you give me an, a, a form for ON? How does ON look like? ON, it lies on the line, so it can be expressed in the form of... Pongdun? Okay, Kaipin? What is ON? Very good. Mm. Very good. <coughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Wow, very good. Like, I've been correct me. Well done. I purposely do one. Uh, so. Hey, don't let that. I don't drink water. It got so boring. Like that. Okay. Can uh? Like that. So, it this does the same as uh, ON should be equals to 8. Uh, PN should be equals to 5 plus 3 lambda 10 plus 2 lambda pay attention negative 8 minus 2 lambda okay for sum you must write for sum uh, it's not for all uh, it's only for sum for a particular lambda in, uh, as in real number only for sum not for all for fix, uh, for sum for fix, yeah, for a particular lambda okay. yeah. so from here what's my next step okay Ricardo Fuzo Jin what's my next step I've expressed PN, what do I do? Very good. Okay, so I realized that since PN should be perpendicular to your line, that means, right, if I take PN dot product with my direction vector of the line, okay, then let me ask Benjamin C, what will this give me? Very good. Okay. I solve, 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 solve. My answer comes out lambda to be negative 3. Okay, with that, simply you know that uh, since ON is equal to 8 plus 3 lambda, 7 plus 2 lambda, negative 2 minus 2 lambda, right? Okay, so from here you just uh, sub lambda equals to negative 3. So this will just give you negative 1, 1, 4. Okay? Then, okay, can I? Uh, can I see all writing so I pause okay. So far, complex number can I understand? Uh? Uh, lost, uh. Lost, uh. Huh? Even with such a handsome natural, still, still lost. <laughs> okay, last part. Okay. Huh? Okay, try to put from P to the line L. Okay, okay. Next lecture, I shall call you. Okay, everything try you, try you. Okay, from the line L. So this one, this one we done already, ah? Huh? Done already, ah? Huh? Okay. PN is perpendicular, so we are doing PN. We are using PN. Ah, so so it could be that. Ethan, Ethan, you see, ah? PN is here. It could, uh, o O should be could be somewhere else. Okay, uh, huh? When, when, when you know you just go to crazy, you Oh, yellow, yellow. A bit of very weird. Okay. So, after that, right, we have found ON, right? Very quickly, after you have ON, you can find PN, right? PN is just equals to... You substitute this one. This is your PN. You sub lambda equals to negative 3. So, PN will be equals to negative 4, 4, negative 2. Then, uh... 
magnitude of pn will be square root 16 plus 16 plus 4 so it's equals to 6 okay so that's the perpendicular distance from point p to the line point p to the line okay huh? This is part one. Ah, okay. Then the second part is a bit uh, challenging. Yes. Ah. <laughs> the second part. Ah, okay. Now we do the second part. Okay. Next one. Find the position factor of p prime. The reflection of p about the line L. Okay. So guys, you have to. This is a uh, again. It looks very different. It looks very uh, foreign for the first time. But actually, it is not difficult. Okay, so how do we do this? Let me just show you. Okay, let me just show you. Okay, uh, can I uh, quickly? Uh, okay. So if you have watched my video, so you you, you, you can see quite. This is the line. This is the line, which is r equals to cos. Uh. Okay. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Okay, so this equals to ah so I lost my train of thought. Okay, this is the line, this is L. Okay, this is your eight seven negative two example. Right, this is the point uh P. P is uh three negative three six. Okay? Then there's a fourth perpendicular. What was the fourth perpendicular? Just remember, it was just negative one, one four, correct? Okay. And from here, we need to find the reflection. Okay. So hey, hey, let, let's say I just call this a reflection of p prime about the line. So if you think about it, right? The the line. Let's say we, we have a reflection, right? Dot, 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 dot. The, the reflection should be somewhere here, right? This is my P prime. Okay, can you see? Okay, the good the good thing is this. Uh, you see, if I, this is my line. This is my line. My P is here. So if I reflect, it should be somewhere here, where equal distance, equal distance, not reflect here. Here reflect here. So this side is reflect downwards. Okay. So this is where your P prime should be. But let me ask you how to find P prime. Actually, it's very easy. It's very easy. Huh? Ne negative. Negative. Yeah, what do you mean? Sorry. Did I make a mistake? No, no. Oh, okay. So, when you see the word reflection, right? Okay, my word of advice to you is this. A lot of time, reflection comes with racial theorem. All I need to do is I do, I do this. I, I, I think you can see it straight away. Let's say I call this O. What is the ratio here? 1 is 2. Oh. Negative. You can say that NP is negative of NP prime. No, no, no. You should, it's the same, same idea. Same idea. You should still get the same answer. Uh, faster, law, Faster, law. Uh, it's the same. It's the same. Same, same, same. Okay. So okay. Uh. Okay. Uh, let me show you one. One. This is by using ratio theorem. Uh, okay. Ratio theorem. Monisha, your way will work also. Your way will work also. Okay. Uh, because in, in this case, uh, in this case, right, P and P prime, they are collinear. That's why can, the, the, the direction are scalar multiples. Uh, so if you were to say that Pn is equal to N P prime, right, you are not wrong. You are not wrong. The direction vector is the same. Okay, but let's look at ratio theory. It will be easy now. Okay, so quickly uh, O N right using racial theorem using racial theorem correct uh, O N is equals to O P plus O P prime divided by 2 uh, yes yes we try to have the habit uh, because there are some J tools right? using Pythagoras theorem using your theorem okay from there uh, quickly you can just sub in O N so you, you can see that OP, let's say if I manipulate, uh, OP prime is equals to 2 of ON minus uh, OP. Right? So it's just a uh, 2 of uh, negative 114. Answer you found in part 1, negative 3, 6. 
equals to negative five five two. Okay, children. That, that, that's for OP prime. Come again. Come again. Negative five five two. Correct. Ah. Oh, it's not. It's not. It's not. Oh, I thought you were trying to use uh, this triangle to find. You want to use this triangle to find that is fine. So, so some people will do this. They will say, uh, OP prime is the same as O OP prime, right? OP prime is the same as like ON minus MP, something like that. Oh, that's what they will use. Okay. Oh, the same as sorry, ON plus MP prime. That's what people will say. Then, then some people will say, oh, MP ON, right? As we found just now, it's a negative one one four. MP prime, MP prime. Like see that's not MP prime, right? It's the same as PN. If you can see, they're the same direction. P N P prime. P N M P prime. Because the ratio is the same, right? We can say that this is the same as P N. Uh, after you solve, you'll still get the same answer. Right? Okay? This is method two. There are a lot of ways to do it. There are a lot of ways to do it. Huh? Sorry, sorry, I know very dry, very dry. Ah, okay. Ah, but ideally, just use facial theorem. Ah. You'll be very safe. Ah. You'll be very safe. Ah. Okay? Mm. Facial theorem, then you, will, you don't have to think too much about the direction of the arrows. Yes. Ah, ah. P is here. Ah, so PN is perpendicular to the line. Ah, but ON is the point that lies on the line. PN is a direction vector perpendicular to the line. Huh? Why? Oh, and so so you have a line, so you have a line that points, my friend. Ah, so this is the line. N lines on the line. Correct. Ah, so this is your P, ma. Your P is a point that lies on top. Correct. You line on top. I drop a string down, perpendicular string. This is the foot of the perpendicular. Correct. Oh, correct. Give me one point. Give me one point. This is a point. This one the point. Below is the line. I drop perpendicular. Yeah. Because ON uh, lies Okay, first one The planes P1 Have the equation 2, 1, 3 Okay, R dot 2, 1, 3 R dot negative 1, 2, 1 equals to 2 They meet in a line So remember last time like, we did this We take two I give show you two cardboard They meet in a line, right? How to find the equation of this line? Got two methods Number one Normal, use the normal and then we find the equation of the line. Okay, uh, find the direction vector, then after that, take a position point. Uh, take let x equals to zero, right? Number two, what's the lazy way? Lazy, lazy. Let's forget it. Hmm. Two planes. Ask Ricardo Fu. Two planes. How do you find the equation of a line? Don't know? Go and kill yourself. Don't, oh no, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. no, go and knock your own head. Ah. There are two methods. I showed you on the board last time. Number one, we let x equal to zero. Then we solve, 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 find the position vector. Right? Number two, what's the position? Number two, what's the method? Oh, don't remember now. Normal was one method, it's another method. It's another method. Why is it another method? What method is it? Use. Oh. Okay. Equate. Huh? You cannot use ah. Wow. Huh? Cannot use. Is some. Let me give you a hint. Is something that Ignatius lost. G C. Ah. Okay. Use G C. Okay. Use G C. So it's very simple. You can write right. Use G C. Ah. So for these two, you still remember not? Children, don't forget ah. Ah. Okay. Must be resilient. Okay. Ah. Your passion, resilience, trust. Ah. Okay. Come. Okay. So next one. 2x, the plane 1, right? I can call it this way. Okay, the plane 1, I can say is 2x plus y plus 3z equals to 1. Plane 2, I can call this negative x plus 2y plus z equals to 2. Correct? Huh? So what do I do now? Put inside GC, huh? Use GC. 
Okay? So just use GC. You use GC, you're going to get something like this. Uh, X1 equals to negative X3. Uh, X2 equals to uh, negative uh, 1 minus X2, something like that. Then X3 equals to X3. That's what, probably what you get. Huh? So, answer comes out, you will have your line to be equal to 0, 1, 0 plus lambda negative 1, negative 1, 1 okay, where lambda is real okay, so guys equation of line between two planes there are two methods number 1, use your GC number 2, let x to be 0 okay you all understand how to comprehend this to give you this don't know You how can you do it? What do you do? Use the zero. Okay. But this one you understand if I go to it. After you get the, this part. X3. Mm. This portion, right? Uh, basically, X3 equals to X3, right? I just say, let maybe let X power 3 equals to lambda. X3 sub 3 equals to lambda. Then your x3 is like your z, right? The z. Uh, then x2 is like the y, right? It's equal to 1 minus lambda. x1 will be equal to like negative lambda. Correct? Right? Because all this will become lambda, lambda, lambda. So, yeah, look. So, so x1, I call it x, uh, negative lambda. So, lambda, I put a negative 1. y, 1 minus lambda. So, 1 minus lambda bracket 1 uh. okay z is a uh, lambda so z is equal to 0 plus la lambda so it's 1 uh. okay so you can see like that okay 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 part 2 okay. oh sorry Do you want me to show you how I use a GC? Need? Be honest, I'm honest. Ah, need and just tell me. Ah. I do it once, you can watch a few thousand times, okay? Can mm. mm. okay, no? yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah? You don't have lambda S? Oh. Uh, this time. This time round won't, but next time will. Common test will. This time give you chance. Uh, uh, this time very linear. Huh? Mm. Okay. okay, question. Okay, then after that, next part. Uh, okay. The plane P. Okay, so very quickly, uh, from part 1. Guys, guys, uh, from part 1. Stay with me, stay with me. From part 1, right? Okay, you know. Your line looks like this. Your lines, as you have found, is in this form. 0, 1, 0, plus uh, lambda, negative 1, negative 1, 1. Okay? Where lambda is real. Right? So from here, you know that, uh, back to the question, right? The plane P3 has an equation 2x plus y plus 3z minus 1 plus k, blah, 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 equals to 0. Explain why the line lies in P3. Okay? explain why the line lies in p3 so if i say just like if i say the point lies on the line it means for some lambda it can, can satisfy the equation of the line right if i say that this line here lies in p3 it means i'm also saying that the line can satisfy can satisfy p3 right so what i need to do is i just substitute into my p3 okay how to sub? You use the, in, in your line, you take x equals to something, y equals to something. You always equate the x, y, z. Okay? You equate the x, y, z. This is what I mean. Okay, huh? How do I show that it lies in P3? From your line 1, here, right? Okay. Follow me, huh? Follow me. You can see x equals to negative lambda. y is equals to y minus lambda. z is equals to lambda, right? Okay? In your line, your x, y, z, 
your Cartesian coordinates take this form. Okay, it can be in this form. So given that now, if my line got this form, okay, I want to I look at my equation. My equation 2x. This is my plane, ah, uh, plus 3z minus 1 plus k bracket minus x plus 2y plus sorry I write at the bottom uh, z minus 2 equals okay this equals to 0 this is my plane how do I check whether my points my line lies in the plane okay very good I take this and I sub in honestly okay so x equals to negative lambda this is my line uh. this is my plane I just sub x equals to negative lambda erase negative lambda x equals to negative lambda erase uh, negative lambda y is a uh, 1 minus lambda erase 1 minus lambda erase 1 minus lambda z equals to lambda erase lambda erase lambda that's all you do okay and from here okay this is you sub in you just sub okay you will find that this will actually give you uh, equals to zero okay you can actually obtain equal uh, sorry this is the left hand side uh. you actually obtain zero you can sub quite nicely okay you can sub quite nicely Point lines on P3 and line. Ah, can, can, can. We can say that. Ah, in parallel plus a common point. Can. Okay. okay. Still, still with me. Or, uh, uh, anyone lost? Not lost, right? Okay, we go together, okay? Just like road run, we run as a class. This also math we do as a class. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, part two. Then, uh, after that, hence. Stop one, okay. Really, ah? Huh? I go on, ah? Huh? Can I go on? If I too fast, just scream, ah? Huh? Okay. Mm. So, hence, or otherwise, find a Cartesian equation of the plane in which both the L and the point lie. Both the point L and the point lie. Okay? So, the point two three four. Okay, so that means right. I have a plane. I have a plane. I have a line. The point two comma three comma four. Okay, how to find? Anyone? Show me uh, any idea. Huh? Hmm. Find a k value. Very good. Okay, so actually. This plane they are talking about, they are talking about P3. Okay, this is the P3 they are talking about, okay? So, basically, right, what we do is we just sub 2, 3, 4. We sub 2, 3, 4. Okay? Into the plane, the, into the, into P3. Okay, so P3 is just 2x plus y plus 3z minus 1 plus k bracket negative x plus 2y plus z minus 2. This is the equation of our plane. Okay, we know that 2, 3, 4 lies on the plane. We sub in 2, 3, 4. Okay, so here, simple. X, we put in 2. Y, we put in 3. Z, we put in 4. Okay, so similarly, this one, negative X, negative 2. 2Y two becomes 3. Z becomes 4. Right, so... Basically, we sub in x equals to 2, y equals to 3, z equals to 4 into the plane. Okay, into the plane. Into the plane. Okay? So from here, you will solve and then you get k to be uh, negative 3. Yawn! You yawn! Hui Yi slap her. Okay. Probably slap Hui you slap. Ask Anthony step Ravid. Okay. I keep thinking Benjamin is Hui Yi's boyfriend. Okay. I don't know why. 
Okay, so, uh, so from here, uh, hey, shit, it's recorded. Okay, so K is negative three. Okay, so from here, right? That means what your equation of the plane, your equation of plane. Remember, you you found that K is equals to negative three. Your equation of plane originally was two x plus y plus three z minus one plus k bracket negative x plus two y plus z minus two equals to zero. So all you do is just sub k is negative three. Quiet. So you just sub here. Okay. Basically, you found that k is negative three. Just erase this. This one is negative three. All right. And simplifying your just group uh, the x together, group the y together, group the z together. You have two. Uh, so you have two x plus y plus three z minus one. Distribute in. Okay. Plus three x minus six y minus three z plus six equals to zero. All right. So you simplify. Group the x y z together. Uh, eventually you will have uh, x minus y plus 1 equals to 0 and that's the equation of your plane okay that's the equation of your plane hmm. in which both your line and the point 2 3 4 lies okay come again x minus y plus 1 uh, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Ah, doesn't matter. Yeah, you can do it. Okay, okay so, so Monisha said, is it uh, can we leave the negative 1 to the right? Can. Can. Uh, that's a Cartesian equation. I don't have uh, You can also do that. Uh, it's the same. Uh, same. Okay, you are not wrong to write it this way. You are not wrong to write it this way. Okay? So this is for PQ, uh, PQ 5. So, so tiring. Yeah. Okay.